Hey guys, so out of the blue yesterday, Google sprung the Android N developer preview images on us. This is kind of strange. Normally they wait for the Google I.O., but they didn't this time. I guess they just want it out a little bit earlier. Uh, they released the images for a fair few Nexus devices. I flashed this on my Nexus 6, as you can probably tell. Uh, I didn't flash it on my 6P just because it's an alpha build and, you know, it's going to have some crashes and it's going to have some issues. As you can probably tell, this is definitely Android N. You can uh, see that from the settings, but just to prove it to you, it says N in the Android version right there. In terms of an Easter egg, we don't really have one. We have the N uh, letter, but if you tap that, you get some ripple effects. If you press and hold it, you get that Android Flappy Bird game that I think we've had for the last two previous Android versions. I think it's the last two. I still suck at it just the same, but yeah, this is Android N. And there's lots of under the hood improvements as you'd expect, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But the things you'll notice straight away are definitely the quick settings. Now we've had a lot of OEMs do this, but it's good to see it in stock Android. You now have quick access to things like your torch. You can change settings for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, it's really quick and easy to use. Uh, if you press the battery icon, you get a nice little graph showing you your battery, how much battery you have left, and you can quickly access uh, the battery saver as well if you'd like to. Uh, you have more settings and done at the bottom and you have the uh, slightly redesigned quick settings shade with a pretty awesome material-esque animation i love this animation i was just playing with this yesterday for a while you can see it all kind of move into place very material design and i just think these little tweaks just really polish off uh, android and it's really nice to see uh, you can also now scroll the quick settings so if you have uh, too many on one page it will just put them on the next page and you can scroll between them and you can edit their order as well so you can see that edit button in the bottom right hand corner if we press that we can rearrange toggles we can even add new uh, toggles as well from the bottom so you can see one that says data saver we'll put that on the second just just after wi-fi and you'll actually see that your quick settings from your notification shade has also changed so if you want to edit these and have exactly what you want up here you can we now have data saver as the second option notifications have also had a redesign they actually show more information now so if there's text here or show more text you've got a share and delete button you've also got a clear all button here as well so if you've got a lot of notifications you can hit that clear all button i think we had that before but it was just those three lines which you know nobody really understood exactly what they did until you pressed it on the lock screen things look a little bit different as well you can expand the notification just as we did before but um, you, if you swipe it a little bit over to the left hand side, you can see a little uh, cog appears. And if you press that, you can change the notification settings. You can have it be silent, so you, you don't want them to appear on your lock screen. You've got more settings as well for things like peak and, and all that good stuff. There's also a slightly new animation for dismissing a notification on the lock screen. Of course, you can still swipe left and right to dismiss, but when you do so, you'll see the notification kind of collapses in on itself and the clock moves back into place. Again, it's just that progression of the material design that just makes things feel that little bit more polished than the previous Android version. We also now have inline notification replies, and this is something I really like. The individual app will have to support this, but you can see we have a reply button right there. If we press it, the keyboard pops up and you can reply to the message right there you can be watching a video, you can be in a different application and you can still reply to your friends and boom, it's gone. Now the settings menu, while its fundamentals are still the same, we do have some redesigns here. You no longer have those kind of uh, dividers in between each setting and I like this I know some people don't really like this but I just think it looks more modern and more sleek you're also getting more information at a glance just by looking at this setting screen it tells you individually little things about each section so which Wi-Fi you're connected to if your Bluetooth disabled if your adaptive brightness is on how many apps you have installed the list goes on it tells you your battery life for example and how many how many hours or days you have left and overall it's just something I think I'm gonna like quite a bit now one of the big additions with Android N is split screens and multi-view apps and we can see that in this preview. So if we press the recent you can see this has been slightly redesigned, you have much bigger cards now. But if you want to use an application on the top half of the screen it's as simple as just pressing and holding the app, dragging it to the top where it's slightly lighter coloured and boom you're in a split screen. Now you can go ahead and choose an application for the bottom. Uh, just for ease of use we're just going to use the settings application. Uh, there we go and there it is you now have your split screen view and yes you can change the sizes of the application so if you want more space for the top or more space for the bottom you can just grab that divider in the middle and just pull it across and you can just you know split the app how you'd like it so if you want the top half to be a little bit bigger for you know videos or something you can do that and by the way right now youtube i tried youtube it did have some issues 
it did play the video, but when you did that uh, and you used the second application, it would pause the video. So I'm not quite sure uh, what's going on there. Of course, it's an alpha build, so I'm sure it'll be fixed. You can also, as you can see, go into landscape mode, and this is just going to be great for things like tablets and also phablets like the Nexus 6 and the 6P. I could see myself using this for like YouTube videos and then texting someone else at the same time. Uh, it's pretty sweet. If you want to go back to full screen, you can just drag it from the top. Uh, one cool thing as well, if we put we'll just quickly split the screen again if you press the home key you'll see the app disappear into the top section into the status bar and it gives you the opportunity to just press another app and boom you're straight into the split screen so that's pretty sweet and again you can just drag it up to the top and you'll be out of the split screen view oh and one thing i forgot to show you about the settings guys is you now have a hamburger menu that you can just pull in from the left and quickly access things like your settings so you don't have to press back and and scroll you can just pull out that menu and quickly jump between your settings and uh, yeah I don't know how useful that'll be it definitely is quicker than going back and scrolling around but I, I'm not sure I'm not sure if you just forget about it checking out the system UI tuner we have a few differences in here most notably probably the re-inclusion of night mode and this is a little bit finicky sometimes you have to turn it on and off a few times for it to actually activate but you can see once you do the menus get a much darker theme and I actually really like this theme you can have it set to automatically do this depending on your location and time zone which is pretty cool uh, and it also does some other things as well. If we dive back into this, you can see it adjusts the tint. If we turn that on, it basically takes a lot of the blue out. It puts a kind of reddish filter. So it's easier if you're about to go to sleep. And also it can adjust your brightness to go much dimmer than what the system would normally allow you to do. So if you're in bed, you can have these two activated and it's just going to be a lot less strain on your eyes. As you can see at the top there, we have a toggle to turn it on automatically. Uh, and like I said, you can see right now, I'm having to turn it on and off a few times for it to actually activate because it's an alpha build and therefore bugs. Pretty simple. One of the cool things I noticed is there's actually an option to calibrate display and you have the options for RGB here and you can actually move these sliders around. So if you think your display is a little bit too warm, you can take out the reds and greens, leave the blue a bit higher and you can definitely see, I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, but I can tell that the screen is a lot cooler now. So if you're not a fan of a warmer display or vice versa, you can actually change it. I'd love to see this option become a stock option in Android. I think it's great and everyone has a different preference. One of the cool experimental options right now is you can actually just slide up from the recents key and it will automatically split screen your app that you're currently in and you can pick another app for it to split screen. This is in the system UI tuner as well. Another addition to Android N is the ability to adjust your display size. You can access this from the accessibility section. You can see it says display size right there. And this is basically adjusting the DPI and it does this on the fly. You don't have to reboot your device. You don't need root or anything like that. So you can actually make everything smaller. And I know this is a reason a lot of people root. So I'm sure loads of people are gonna be happy about this. You'll see everything kind of gets smaller the nav bar got smaller there uh, the icons are a little bit smaller you can see the quick settings are definitely smaller than what I previously had so it's pretty sweet to have this option straight in there and it does change on the fly as well no reboot needed uh, we can make this super large as well just to uh, show you guys that there is a difference you can see again my soft keys have already changed and you can see the quick settings take up a lot more space than they did uh, than before so yeah again just one less reason to root and I know a lot of people will be happy with this option we also see a new feature here called Data Saver. If you go into data usage, you'll see it right there. It's off by default, but basically this gives you the ability to limit the amount of data applications can use. So you can see right now, I, I don't have it on. I don't really care because I have unlimited data, but if you've got a data cap and you know you know an app uses a lot of data, you can actually turn this on. And then when you're roaming around and you're on your 3G or your LTE, that application isn't going to be able to use as much data as it normally would. So this is going to save you data. It probably is going to save you battery life as well. And you can just toggle the applications you want to use here. And we'll have to see how well this works in the real world, of course, but it looks like it's going to be a good option. I know a lot of people are going to be happy about this one. Google has now said that Doze will activate when the screen turns off. So you don't have to wait for the device to be laying still on the table for hours on end. This is going to activate when you just turn it off and it's in your pocket. We'll have to see what that means for notification delays and stuff like that. Hopefully they have a workaround and you know your notifications aren't going to be crazy delayed. but. We'll have to wait and see. I haven't tested that too much. So there you go, guys. That's a look at the Android N developer preview. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sure Google has some more tricks up its sleeve for the Google I.O. and some more improvements and things like that. Of course, we will be getting updates to this preview as well. So lots of things to look forward to, guys, as always. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace out.